Hey everyone, I'm Tefel and welcome in this uh, third tutorial of integration MRPG uh, to your game with all online services. So today we are going to uh, create our own store where you can define all the items like you can see on the screen, creating your own Exola project where you, your players will be able to uh, create an account and uh, register themselves and log into the to the project and obviously some other things like bundles so you will have everything integrated into your project regarding this online services so if you haven't seen two previous parts um, they should be in the movie description so you can check uh, movie description and without any further ado i'm just uh, going to start this tutorial now Okay, so first thing what you need to do to set up your own project uh, is creating an Exola Publisher account. Uh, so you can go to publisher.exola.com, uh, fill all the data, sign up, email, password, and then verifying your uh, email uh, through the link. And then you will be able to log in providing this email and password. And when you do this, uh, you will see this uh, publisher.exola.com. Uh, and you will be able to create on the left side your first project. So when pressing the plus button, you will be able to specify languages, project, uh, I have this MRPG inventory, and then the website. And when you do this and select the project for the first time, uh, it will show you a project ID on the left top corner. This is the project ID, the short one. And you will have to also create your login ID, which is uh, here. So when you press login and go to login projects, you will be able to press and create your first uh, login ID, pressing the plus, create standard login project, creating it, you will have access to uh, this login ID, which is this long one. In the project settings, when you have a Exola plugin, you will have four different modules which you can configure independently one from another and you can specify your project id and also demo project id the same for login here is the login id but because it's a mrpg inventory plugin i did all this work for you so there is only one place where you have to specify this project id and login id so it's in exola game mode and when you go to this Exola game mode, you will see that on Begin Play, uh, there is a string and you just need to replace this with your login ID. And it's setting for your demo login ID and login ID from the login settings. And the same for MRPG project ID. So it's this short one, which I just showed you in the left top corner. So when you do this, this is applying to demo project ID, uh, project ID, the same for store and inventory. And when you do this, uh, you will access your own store uh, with everything uh, unique what you defined. And yeah, let's uh, do this now. I would like to show you how I configured my store. Uh, so let's go to MRPG inventory once again, and you will see that I have access to my store. I can open it. And here I can define some things like virtual currency, virtual items, bundles, promotions, and go on. So let's look into the first category, virtual currency. So uh, I configured this by defining my currency, virtual one, which is MRPG coin. And uh, one coin cost uh, 10 cents. Uh, so yeah, uh, these players will be able to purchase in, in the game from the main menu. But you can also define specific items which are packages and I have this here and you can always create your own new package just pressing on the right side. You can provide your image, a unique identifier, name in English and description. Then you define amount of this virtual currency and the price in USD or any other uh, currency. There are really plenty of them so you can pick uh, currency you want and uh, if it's showing in the store and then you are creating package and this package with unique ID like this a small silver pack and big silver pack 
is uh, one of the items which global vendors can sell to you and uh, it's in uh, if you look into data inventory data table this is the only data table uh, where I define all the items in MRPG inventory plugin and if you go to the to the bottom you will see there is a big silver pack and small silver silver pack and they have also icons so when I jump to the MRPG inventory Exola this is the map with Exola I will be able to to find global vendors and you will see these two items uh, on the list so I can uh, provide my credit card number so you can replace simply with your own uh, currency here uh, providing your unique ID and uh, when you specify in this global vendor uh, that is a virtual currency is going to sell you all items from this uh, virtual currency uh, bundle list basically so let's uh, purchase this super quickly so it's 41111 and then 12, 40, 1, 2, 3, and this is everything, uh, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And when you purchase it, uh, it should increase number of coins. So 190, and you see it was 290. So this is how I purchase virtual currency. And uh, in the game, as you can see, there is a my global vendor. And when you press this, you will have uh, this global vendor type. As you can see, it's virtual currency and the title, uh, which is just name of the vendor. And it's going to sell you all the bundles so you can check uh, how this vendor is uh, configured. Uh, so, yeah, this, this is everything about currency and bundles. So let's get back to uh, defining items now. And for the items, if I go to the store once again, uh, I can configure my items in specific categories so I can create uh, the group and from one group I can offer uh, like in global vendors so there is a group consumable capes gold armor and fruits so I can select this group just typing in the name uh, once again in this <laughs> Uh, global vendor on the right side so there is a global items category so this global vendor is selling fruits uh, another one is selling gold armor another one is selling capes and everything uh, as you can see uh, is coming from uh, from this uh, exola so uh, it's actually taking all the items from consumables and it's presenting them uh, for the player so uh, I can buy mushroom and nuts in the one. In the second one, I can buy uh, all capes. So if I go back, I can show you that really the second one is selling five capes for real money. <laughs> uh, this one is, is selling capes. So we have five of them. Uh, yeah. And they are purchased. This one I can buy multiple times because it's expiring in one day. So I can. Uh, stack this uh, ex uh, expiracy date so yeah th this is uh, everything for defining items uh, you can just create them simple pressing the button create an item adding this to, to your category defining once again image uh, unique identifier uh, name in English and description uh, the, the category which is consumable or not uh, this means if it can be consumed so it can be purchased multiple times and it gives it gives like extra effect uh, and then if the main default uh, price should be virtual currency or the main one and this is important because it's uh, presented to the to the player so once again uh, here everything on the bottom you see there is only place for one currency and it's, here is virtual one but if I go to global vendor, which is selling in real money, you will see it's USD. So it's uh, selecting one default one, right? So, so it works uh, works like this. So yeah, uh, that would be everything for uh, items and uh, bundles and virtual currency. 
So actually everything what is uh, in in this demo, uh, but th there are more things which you can uh, configure for your project. And if you go to uh, Exola store, uh, you can uh, obviously buying currency di directly here. So we can buy bundle here and it's working the same way, like purchasing this from global vendor. Uh, but when buying something like the mushroom, you can also, uh, maybe not here, but when you go to the shop and you, to the cart, you can specify your promo code. And uh, I will show you how you can uh, define your promo codes. So there is uh, one defined in your in my project. So there is a promotion configure. You can add your promotion. So one is a promo code. And as you can see, it's active. It's giving me 10% discount. So when I uh, type this MRPG 10 discount in my project, I should be able to buy this uh, $2 mushroom for reduced uh, price. Ah, if I press the, the arrow key, okay. And then it's uh, checked. So I have this uh, discount 10%. And then I can secure checkout and I can purchase this once again. So this is for promotion. But there are also two, two other types. One is the, uh, the discount, which is always active to all your uh, players. So you can uh, specify that in the period, like on Monday, everything is discounted like 20%, uh, basically. So it's uh, super easy. And the coupon players can do from the main store. Redeem coupon and they can put promo. It should uh, give me all the items which I have defined here. So I will get all the fruits, watermelon, peach, uh, pomegranate, grapes, raspberries. As you can see, everything will be added to my inventory. So let's check if a uh, promo code is working. So I have this fruit promo and redeem. And as you can see, success, you receive the following items. So you can also uh, give some discount to the player or give some items, also virtual currency. So you get defined this promo codes, however you want, and these uh, coupons. So that would be everything for this tutorial. Um, I also prepared for you uh, updated version of documentation. So uh, now it's uh, 23 pages. Uh, so there is a introduction section, uh, how to install the plugin, uh, integration, explaining the basic example, advanced example, uh, having this custom stall with Exola once again. So if you uh, missed something in this video, you can always look into, into this. So uh, yeah, it's like everything uh, step by step explained. So you should be able to get all necessary information uh, from here. And yeah, uh, please join the support Discord channel if you haven't. If you have any questions, just ask me in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, uh, see you next time.